Hi guys, it's Jen and Vicki. We're here at Blue Moon Vintage Market in Three Oaks, Michigan. I don't know if anybody's out there yet. I see a heart. Okay, a couple people. <laughs> this is my first my first by myself scope, so bear with me. Joy's not here to hold my hand today, so we're giving you guys a show of our latest pick that we are bringing in for our October market. Have lots of cool stuff that just came in. Uh, here's my mom, Vic. Hi, everybody. <laughs> She's going to help us uh, go through our merchandise this morning and show you what we've got. So um, here we went on a pick yesterday over at Savvy City Farmer. Joy was so gracious to let us come in and buy some goodies from her. And uh, we had another vendor come in yesterday that I'm showing you right now. There's a whole stack of Goose Festival flags. It's from Fenville, Michigan. There's several different colors. They're pretty vintage. They're in mid-80s. And I just think they're fabulous. So we'll be hanging those in the market for October. Uh, just to kind of show people what they can do with them. All the different colors. I think they're just awesome. Some are signed by somebody in, yeah. in particular. Some have signatures on them. We're not sure who or where that comes from. but Apparently they celebrate the goose. In terms of so. <laughs> We've got goose celebrations going on. Behind it's a fabulous cart that we picked up from Savvy City Farmer yesterday. That we're going to stage our October market with some corn stalks and pumpkins. And just kind of get a fall feel going on for our event. Uh, we've got some wonderful cows over here. These cow heads that I just think they need to be named because they're so adorable. There's two. Maybe we have an Elsie. Oop, thank you, Junk You. I think they're just great. And then we've got these adorable little rooster lamps that I think go with the cows so fabulously. Um, down here, I've got this vintage box with a fabulous old leather strap that I'm thinking was horse bridle of some fashion. There's a harness some type of harness on there. So that's fun. Uh, I would like to turn this into a wine rack. Thank you, Joy, for the great idea. So that's gonna be in our market, hopefully with some wine bottles on it for our customers. We've got an old ho uh, hog trough here that will also be featured on a table with some pumpkins and gourds and maybe some candles. Uh, feature that well. And over here, we've got some other great stuff that came in. A little baby crib that will also have pumpkins and gourds and cool stuff in it. Oink, oink, joy. <laughs> this is a fabulous sink that you could either put outside, put some drinks in it at a party with some beer and pop and um, ice cubes. There's also a drain in it. You can drain it. If I decide that I have to keep it, that will go in my house um, as my bathroom sink or my kitchen sink, possibly a laundry tub. I haven't decided yet. So for right now, <laughs> it's at the October market. I haven't decided that to be stingy with it yet. Uh, so bear with me. I am going to try to walk into our market. Um, the snow fencing will be coming down soon. We're going to put up sp a split rail fence. So I'll kind of show you quickly, Don't without getting you dizzy. This is kind of a little junky right now. This fills up when we're open. We have a food vendor that comes in. She has stuffed gourmet pretzels. She's here in Three Oaks. Does a fabulous job. So bear with me, it's dark in here. We've got all kinds of stuff coming in for the next market. There's some great old vintage hay racks that we just got, um, some rag rugs. These are these fabulous little apple numbers. If anyone has any clue what they're used for, feel free. You wanna grab one, Mom? Uh -huh. Feel free to let me know what you think they might be used for because we're kind of clueless. So those are super cool. Little apples go great for October and the fall. We've got those. This is another little great piece here that not sure. Yes, Junk Mama, we are once a month. We do the fourth weekend of every month. Um, try to make it an event so that we can restock. It takes us three full weeks to restock the place. This is the windmill that my dad hung up for us last month and begged me not to put him on Facebook, but I did. So if you happen to have a Facebook account, we're at Blue Moon Vintage Market on Facebook. And we try to kind of keep that as entertaining as we can, show you guys what we've got going on behind the scenes. Um, I'll do a real quick walkthrough to give you guys kind of an idea of what this looks like. This is a great old oops, nail bin organizer that we've got. We had one last month and a wedding planner came in and bought it to put all of her ribbons and, and things in for her office to show her clients kind of what she has. Um, this is a great old fireworks billboard advertisement sign that we've picked up that'll go great for our October market. It is right, it's the weekend before Halloween, so I think that'll be fun to stage. Here's a light fuse getaway. 
I love that it needs an explanation on <laughs> how to use fireworks properly. So um, this is kind of just my quick blurb. Ooh, vignette it on Facebook. I will do that. Thank you so much. Love the ideas. Junk Mama, we'll have to get down to Kentucky so we can shop. Joy was great because she's close by, so we were able to get to her place yesterday. So I don't want to overwhelm you guys. I don't know how long these things are supposed to go, so I'll try to kind of wrap this up. This is our Annie Sloan chalk paint workshop. Uh, the whole back room is our color chart. We teach workshops once to twice a month and let people kind of see how to use the paint. Uh, we're 6,000 square feet. We've got vendors that come in outside. We will go year round. We've got heat. Um, we're also on Instagram. We have a vendor that was on an episode of, what was he on an episode of? American Pickers. He's on season two, episode 31. So he brings us in some really cool stuff. These are some cows we got at an old dairy barn. They hadn't seen light in probably 75 years. So when we brought them out, we kind of felt like it was the first time they'd seen sun in a very long time. So again, adorable little cows. And I think that kind of gives you guys a feel for what we've got. I do too. I think the cows are just cool. Let me get out of the light and I will show you guys my other favorite piece that we have. It's kind of a feature. We've named him Sherman the Sturgeon. It's this big, super cool, old hand-carved fish that I believe came out of a fishery on the East Coast. Hand-carved, double-sided. And because he looks like he's smiling, we named him Sherman. So that's kind of... A feel. Oh, and then we've got this window. Sorry, guys, I'm spinning. Aw, thanks, Tanya, for all the hearts. That's just awesome. Corbels. I'll go back and show you guys those in a sec. This is a big, fat window that we just got in. It's, uh, what, 32 panes? It's, yeah, I think 32 panes. We think that's 32 panes. <laughs> I do carpal tunnel, Joy. <laughs> this is more fun than I thought it was going to be. I might just do this all day long. So, all right, let me go back and show you guys the corbels. We don't have any lights on underneath the loft, but it goes back underneath that area too. And then here's some corbels up here with this fabulous old architectural piece that we just picked up. It's huge and we just love it. So you guys have any input, let me know. I'm new at this, so yes, please come see us. That would be awesome. We are gonna go year round. Our next market's October 23rd through the 25th. We're in Three Oaks, Michigan, which is not far from New Buffalo. Uh, lots to do. Journeyman Distilleries right down the street. If anybody likes a good bourbon like I do, they're well worth the visit. We've got some great restaurants in town. Sawyer Garden Center's close by. Um, what else is around here? Mm, got Blaze Rustic Sheik. Blaze Rustic Sheik's down the street. They've got great home decor. Um, and if we're ever here staging and you happen to be in the area, feel free to stop in. We won't let you we won't, we won't not, not let you in. <laughs> we'll let you in <laughs> while we're here. So, And this is also my other favorite little sign. Apparently there was an Indian up in Minnesota back in the 50s, and it was kind of a, a souvenir piece where people could come in, get their picture with Indian Joe, and then go home with the souvenir picture. So anyways, thank you guys so much. I promise I'm going to get better at this and keep practicing. So my little sidekick, my mom, wave. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'm going to figure out how to shut this off, and I'll be back soon. Thanks for all the hearts. Bye. It's not stopping. Okay, stop broadcast. Stop. It says to swipe down. Sorry, guys. I'm still here. <laughs> Let's see how this works.